Hi everyone, this is Dave with another update video for you on some of the tweaks I've been making to my jailbroken iPhone 4. Now this also applies if you've got another version of the iPhone or perhaps an iPod Touch. But the two little tweaks I'm going to show you in this video are Icon Renamer and Biter Font. Now Icon Renamer, absolutely superb. If you tap and hold and get all your icons jiggling, if it's a folder we can tap and we can change the folder name. We know that this works already in the st standard iOS. However, if you have got uh, an, an application, you can't normally change the name of it. So here, for example, we've got the Geekanoids uh, application here, and you can see that the word Geekanoids is a little bit too long uh, for the design that I've got on my home screen. So I can actually tap on this, uh, sorry, double tap, and I can actually change this, shorten it just to read geek, and then apply, and it actually changed the name of the application. Here we've got iMovie here as well, so if I double tap on that, I can actually change uh, the name of iMovie, perhaps to uh, Movie, for example, and just remove the i and apply it, and normally you wouldn't be able to do that to applications so it's absolutely fantastic that you can now actually rename uh, standard applications so I like that a lot, I'm just going to put iMovie back to the way it was because I don't want to change that but you can change the name of any application, you can see here the shop savvy one that's far too large for my design so I'm going to just change that to savvy and apply and again it gets things looking nice and neat restricts the text into the size of the icon and it's a very nice tweak and once you're happy with all of your changes you can simply tap your home button and it puts it back to the sort of static screen now the next one I wanted to show you is something called Biter Font now if I tap into here you can see the icon for Biter Font in here and let's tap to launch now this is really cool, the very first screen that opens up are the fonts that I've downloaded from Cydia. The uh, next screen along allows me to do my settings. The next one along uh, allows me to browse fonts, so I can look at the most recent ones, coming soon ones, staff picks, most downloaded, popular alphabetical and categories. So it's in here that I can actually gain access to download various fonts. The very last one is just an about screen about the application and the developer. Let's go back to advanced. Now the system font at the moment I've got it set to a different font. I've got it sent to Ubuntu. I can change this back to the original iOS. Once I've made the changes I can apply and respring the device. Let's show you what that looks like. And it has to do this to apply the fonts to the whole system in this case and then I can slide to unlock and you can see if I zoom in a little bit on my screen there that all of the fonts have gone back to the regular uh, iOS font. Let's go back across and make another change, something that's a bit more notable. Now in this one I'm going to change my system font to Agency FB and apply and respring. Now in this respring you'll see a, a real big difference to um, the device and how it looks. There we go, so we've got a completely different font up the top, completely different font down the bottom here, and all of my icon fonts have changed as well. So it's really cool, really nice way of changing fonts. Now the one that I like the best, if I go back into Byte font, is this Ubuntu font. So I'm going to actually change the system back to Ubuntu. I really like this one, love this font. Let's do the last respring for this video and then we'll give you a close up of how this looks. And there we go, this is the Ubuntu font, really nice. And let's give you a close up there. It just looks so, so nice with the um, Ubuntu font on. There are loads to choose from. Uh, that's Biter font that allows you to do that. An absolutely fantastic tweak. Now I'm going to be doing another update video very shortly. Uh, showing you the favourite theme that I found. There are loads of themes to choose from, but in the very next video, I'm going to be showing you the um, 
not the final tweak I've made, but certainly a tweak that I've made to make my iPhone 4 look extremely different to the standard icons and layout. Well, thanks very much for watching. Please come back soon to check that next video.